Good evening, Mr. Subhash. Yes, ma'am. Good evening. How are you today? Yeah, I am doing well. I am fine. What about you? I am doing great. You? I am doing great. Thank you for asking. Uh, okay. So, Mr. Okay. Subhash, the topic yes. for today is podcast. Okay, let's podcast. So, do you want to continue with the same topic? Okay, I will try. Let's see. Okay. okay. So, uh, as you, as we all know, podcasts are exploding these days. Everyone seems to be listening to them. Okay. So, do mm -hmm. you listen to podcasts? No, uh, I don't listen to podcasts. Once I tried, and the podcasts that I was using, uh, most of them were in uh, Hindi, but I wanted okay. to listen it in English just okay. to improve my uh, spoken ability. And that's okay. why. So I then uh, left uh, listening to those podcasts. Okay. Now I uh, thereafter I didn't try, and I listen to uh, the videos that I get to see on YouTube. So okay. I uh, what about audio books? Do you also listen to audio books, or you just uh, videos as you told me on YouTube? Yeah, video and uh, uh, general books, not audio books. Okay, general books, not audio books. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, have you ever you've heard of this podcast? You've heard a lot of podcasts in Hindi as well, right? As you said. So, yeah. have you uh, ever thought of creating your own podcast? No, it never occurred to me that I would go for that. No. Okay, it never occurred to you. So in case you think of creating your own podcast, okay, okay. Uh, what would your target audience be? Um, I never thought of that. So right now I have got this question. So I have to think about this. Okay. Okay. What okay. could it be? The, now I am learning spoken English. So it's a journey. And in this journey, I have met so many tutors and I have interacted with them and how I have improved from my previous state to this state or how I am going to improve to the next level. All these things will be there. So maybe like that, after doing all these things, I would be, I would like to share with them, those who want to learn spoken English from the beginner levels. So they would love to hear, I think. Yeah. And not only this spoken English, uh, just for the sake of speaking, but other things also, if I can uh, impart uh, training to them, like grammar, etc., that will be my target, I think. Okay, okay, that's a great thought. Very nice. Okay. Um, what? How will you engage more with your audience? I would uh, engage with my audience. Uh, I will come up with new uh, things like, say, when we hear podcasts, there are a particular uh, thing I may say every day. So the audience may get bored. So I will uh, try to um, innovate new ideas, how to keep them engaged while I'm doing this podcast so that I don't lose my audience. So I will try mm -hmm. to do that. Okay. So uh, now, how would you also deal with any negativity that comes your way? Yeah, negativity would come. There is uh, no way out that I can think that all the positive things would come to me. There will always be negative things also. So I have to see uh, how it is impacting me. If I see, uh, first, of all, first of all, that I would like to ignore it. I, mm -hmm. I, would, I, would, I would not like to, suppose somebody gives me some negative comments. So I will not reply, I just ignore it. Or if somebody has given some uh, comments uh, in a negative way, but if I find it that, if uh, think it and introspect over this, uh, comment and I find that I should uh, change my way of uh, talking or whatever it needs. So I will definitely take it in a positive way and I try to mend my ways and whatever change needed, I will try to do. Oh, that's great. 
So uh, would you be collaborating with other channels to increase your following and engagement? Yes, yes. And uh, I, I have seen that people are doing <laughs> this and I also like to do that. You will also be doing it. Yeah. Yes. So who would you wish to collaborate with? Say there are so many um, tutorials who are okay. imparting training, uh, online training. So I would like to communicate with them and try to get ideas from them. And I would like to share my knowledge with them. So that's where both of us will be in a win-win situation, mutually beneficial. So I think that will be great doing so. Those That's things. nice. That's nice to hear. Okay. Uh, so, Mr. Subhash, any questions for me so far? Uh, first of all, I would like to ask you because this is the first uh, session that we are having. So, I would like to know about you. Uh, okay. As I know your name, but where are you from and what do you okay. do other than this? Leaping go. So, Yes, so I'm uh, from Mumbai. My name is Ranita Gonzalez. Okay, uh, I am an English trainer. Uh, I am trained to teach uh, English as a second language. So I uh, I train uh, online as well as offline. Okay, uh, so I have students. I have young students as well as adults. Okay, nice. Okay, so, so what about uh, you, Mr. Subhash? Where are you from? Oh, I am from Guwahati, okay. it is the northeastern part of India, okay. and here I uh, am in a government service. So, okay, okay. This time. So I've been to Guwahati. Yeah. Okay. When? Okay. When did you come? Um, maybe 2019, before the lockdown. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, for any business purpose or just for? Uh, no, this for uh, we. Um, we had to meet a relative at Bifu. So Guwahati was just the arrival, and then we went further on to Bifu. Okay, so how did you reach there, Bifu? By train, because By that train. was the only. I think that was the only mode of transport. <laughs> no, train. Uh, train as well as uh, road service also there. But I, I, I mean. Uh, uh, I think the train was much better in fact yeah, yeah. it was much safer yes, yes, yes. as well. Safer but as well as it is uh, comfortable also. Yeah, comfortable. That's, that's what yeah. was told to us. So that's how we traveled there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yes. Okay. So from there, we had traveled to other Northeast uh, states like Nagaland and uh, uh, Meghalaya. Okay. So yeah. nice. Uh, last time I spoke spoke with one tutor she is also from mumbai and when i told her that i am from guwahati then she told me like exactly like you that <laughs> she visited guwahati then i asked her what are the other places she visited and i asked her whether she visited Arunachal Pradesh, meghalaya she also told me that yeah she visited yes. those places yes i still have arunachal pradesh to visit we just finished only three sisters the seven sisters correct so we finished Assam, uh, Meghalaya, and uh, Nagaland. So we still have Arunachal Pradesh remaining. <laughs> okay. So how did and you find yeah, those, those places? Oh, they're lovely. Lovely. Very nice. People also, they are very good. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I, uh, even Meghalaya is very nice. Okay. Uh, Nagaland, I love the scenery there. It's, but just the road is very bad. But otherwise, the yeah. place is very good. People are yes. nice, so that's great. Yes. Okay, so I never visited uh, Nagaland. I don't know about that. I okay. visited some places in uh, Meghalaya, like Silong and this Cherapunji. Cherapunji, correct. Rolling Long Dauke, all those yes. places. So all those places I've covered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's nice. So um, and it's very clean as well. Yeah, there is a uh, village also in Meghalaya. Yeah, that is, that is Mauling Long. Mauling Long, that is the cleanest village in Asia. It is called. Correct, correct. correct. I've, yeah. be, I've been there as well. Okay. No. So let's come back to some vocabularies. Okay, now. Okay, uh, so nice. what, what do you mean by blog? Blog. 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 Okay. So, uh, I actual meaning, I don't know, but I 
see the people are vlogging uh, on youtube so they yeah. share their uh, day to day li uh, uh, life activities all these things and sometimes they do it say so they visit separate uh, several places uh, across the world and they put out all those videos so those are the blogs i know exact meaning i don't know it's called a vlog if you see it on youtube it's called a vlog with a v because it's a video blog okay 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 the so ones that you read okay without the video is called a blog okay nice nice okay, okay. so yeah. whatever you see on youtube which has a video attached to it which means it's a vlog video log okay video yeah. so in uh, blog only uh, comes in writing only writing with pictures Okay, uh, but anything yeah. with video is called a vlog. Okay. Okay. What do you mean by consistency? Consistency means if I do something, that should be there should not be any uh, break. I should do it continuously. That is the consistency. So what is that one word? One word for consistency. One. Yes. You said mm. without a break. Nothing coming to my Regular. mind. Regular. Regular, okay. Yes, it need to be regular. You need to be consistent. Yes. Okay. Um. What do you mean by exuberant? Exuberance uh, means a kind of happiness. Uh, a person cheerfulness, happiness, full of energy. Okay, that's full of exuberant. Energy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is charisma? Is it charisma? Charisma. Or charisma? Not I thought it is charisma. Charisma. Yes. That is one has some particular uh, skill uh, in certain thing. So uh, whenever I have seen that he is being what a charisma he did like that. Okay. So this is personal attractiveness that allows you to influence others. So it's there in a person. Let's call it charisma. Okay. okay? Uh, uh, what do you mean by the word uh, collaboration? Pardon? What did you say? Pardon? Collaboration. Collaboration. Collaboration that is uh, that uh, we uh, do something in uh, uh, what to say uh, taking help with one another. That is uh, this uh, company's collaboration with that company like that so that is action of working with someone to produce something so like you said working with other people okay with which means that's the action of working uh, action of working with someone to produce something like if you collaborate with another company you will grow your profit margins as well so that's okay. when you uh, uh, use the word collaboration okay so yeah. uh, so let's come back to charisma. Okay, so it's charisma, the correct word. Charisma. Charisma, okay. charisma the correct pronunciation. Yes, yes. That's uh, what I knew actually. But when you said charisma, so I was no, no, out. No, no, no. That was my mistake. So it's charisma. When you told me, even I was thinking about it. That okay. I must have okay. pronounced it uh, incorrectly. Okay. okay. So uh, what do you mean uh, by the word subscribe? Subscribe. subscribe so, yes. so we suppose uh, uh, now clippingo that i'm subscribing to the clippingo app in order to learn so i am subscribing with money okay. uh, so if i part, uh, purchase some magazines uh, say annually in every month so monthly weekly whatever it will be so i subscribe to this magazine okay. so, so in it, simple so, words we can say it's to pay money to get service. To pay money to get service. Okay. Okay. So in this case, as you said, clapping go, yes, you're paying money to get service. Correct? Okay. Yes. Uh, what do you mean by the word clickbait? Clickbait, what I think is that uh, there are some temptation that the people, in order to uh, watch their videos, they made it in such a way that the moment you see it, you feel like clicking that. So that is the yes. clickbait. So this They're is like a kind of trap. A yes. kind of trap. 
perfect perfect so this is when a, a headline is worded in such a way that the readers feel tempted to click to find out what is what does the article say okay yeah. so, there is, so there and are a lot of times uh, and sometimes uh, it so happens that they put up a picture in such uh, such picture that you will find inside the video that picture but they put out the picture yes so i often read it that the moment i saw yeah, the picture, we all I do it like, yeah yeah we all do it sometimes they read, write it half so you wonder what is there so then you go and click on it yes <laughs> is right so uh, what do you mean by the word sponsor uh, i did not get it yet. please repeat it sponsor sponsor yes okay so sponsor mean if somebody in uh, need of something that we sponsor or oh. in case of that somebody is doing some good work they need some sponsor that in that they want the uh, company or any other thing that to chip in in their uh, work okay so you can say that a firm supporting an organization okay in return for advertising space oh so that is okay. the thing that oh, advertisement thing should be there okay yes because see uh, that's when they sponsor right suppose if they uh, sponsor something uh, for example it's an open space okay they said we will sponsor we'll do something but in return they will put their banner yes yes so that is yes. an advertising space is that they uh yes, when yes. they sponsor right okay. right, uh, right another word give me a minute what is what is the meaning of trademark how will you explain the word trademark to me i cannot exactly say you but uh, some company or something that has a special thing that we say this is the trademark of this company okay so you can say instead of the word thing you can say symbol or design okay yes. so special symbol a design or a word usually to represent a product or a form is yes. called the trademark okay trademark um okay. yes so just one more word i think we see, I come to the end of the session but we can add another word as well what do you mean by phenomenal phenomenal yes something uh, that is extraordinary that we see perfect extraordinary re remarkable or exceptional mm -hmm. yes okay yes. that's phenomenal yes so mr subhash uh, i hope you like today's session yes yes i liked it very so, much so we have come to the end of the session and you spoke my feedback to you is that you spoke really well okay i didn't okay. find any errors or mistakes in whatever you spoke yes if you work on your vocabulary that would yeah. be an added advantage to you okay, okay so this is the only thing that you need to work on is vocabulary okay ma'am so next time when we meet we also do phrases also i would like yes, to yes we will 